What's up, vocal lovers? Angelina jo Jordan. I was going to say Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jordan uh, lovers, man. Ah, I'm in a little bit of a funk. My cat's a little upset. Don't know what she's upset about. And, and I don't want to have to address this often. I probably could say it in every video, but that doesn't... I'm not really about that. Um, and there's going to be a little tinge of sarcasm here, and I hope you can stomach it, okay? There's two things that are true in every single Angelina Jordan performance. There's two things that are always true. She always sounds amazing, and she's always young. So I have no interest in saying she's so young, she's so talented in every single video, right? We're here to do more than that, hopefully. And you don't have to like what I have to say, right? It's just, I'm trying to do something more than just say what everyone else says. I watch those channels and to me, they bore me to death. And I understand it's what you want, some of you. So I, I get it if what I do is not something that you're into, um, but I think it's, very unfair unfair see now i sound like a little kid but i think it's a little ridiculous if you hope to turn me into someone else that doesn't make any sense if you like someone else just go to someone else don't try to turn me into it i'm not trying to turn her into somebody else it just ruffles my feathers a little bit like i watch youtube all day i watch youtube more than i watch anything else what's up cat and like Dude, there's more videos than you could ever watch reacting to Angelina. So, like, if you're dissatisfied, bro, just go watch another video. And I'm going to let you know to your face. I'm going to tell you your face. If you leave a comment, I might not see it, you know. Maybe I won't see it. But if you leave a comment and you're like, well, fine, I'm leaving. Bro, I'm just going to block you. Like, when you say something like that, the only reason you say it isn't because it's true, right? You could just leave. That would be true. When you leave a comment, it's an attempt to actually put out negativity. It's an attempt to actually, you're attempting to cause harm. I can't respect that. Like, are you intentionally trying to cause harm? Like, I understand. Criticism is criticism. Hey, man, I don't like your hat. I don't like the way you do X, Y, Z. And you say something and you just go, go, hey, I just don't like this part. But when you throw in little jabs, like, that's why I don't subscribe. That's why I don't watch your video. You, if you have a critique, say the critique. When you add in that, that second half, that's unbecoming, man. Be better than that. I challenge you to be, be better. But again, it's a free world. Say what you want. Doesn't mean I have to respect it. Welcome to my world by Elvis Presley. Obviously, I know who Elvis is. Pretty sure I don't know Welcome to My World. And I also don't like feeling the way I feel right this second. But hopefully, some beautiful music will change all that. That's what music does. That's why I listen to it. Don't know why you listen to it. Probably the same reason. Angelina, take me to a new place in a minute and 44 seconds. Welcome to my world. That little boom, that little dip. That was the that was the part. Back up. Let me hear that again. Welcome to my world. Won't you come on? It was louder. Miracles, I guess, still happen now when Step into my heart. I like that low rage a lot. Leave your kids behind. Welcome to my world. Build with you in mind. Knock on the door, shall we open? See? I, man, I hate how this works. That like right when I tell you this is not how I'm gonna do something that it happens that way. But I don't know the track that's about to happen. Let's go on a rant. We got 44 seconds left. 
Now we're going on the rant right now, right now. Performer versus composer. Performer versus the composition itself. What's the difference? Right? When you hear something that's great, how much of it is the performer and how much is the composition? I heard this somewhere. Don't, I wish I could give credit. It stuck with me for years. The difference between a great composition and a great performer, because there's always a difference. Sometimes the difference is close, but oftentimes the difference is very vast between the composition and the performance. A great composition is already great. It's been greatly composed, and your job as a performer or part of an ensemble is to attempt to bring that excellence to life. We're trying to reach what has been composed on the paper. Great examples of these in classical music would be Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, Brahms, right, Tchaikovsky, where the excellence is already on the paper, and we're hoping we can come close to that excellence in the performance, right? The compositions up here, us as performers are trying to chase the excellence of the composition and try to give it the depth it needs. A great performer, however, can take a very poor composition and elevate it through their performance. This is a clear example because the backing track really appears to be a karaoke track. It's a very low quality backing track. The only thing interesting about this performance is Angelina, which was in the past couple of videos, the arrangements have been great. This arrangement is mediocre. It's really mediocre. It's kind of basically like you could hire anyone and they would play that backing track. So yes, in this case, her singing is far and away the best part. You take away her singing, this backing track is basically unlistenable. Shit, man, I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't read comments. I don't know. What's the point? Now, the point is people inform me. People inform me through the comments. If I don't read the comments, I don't get the information. Take the good with the bad. And you will find Ask and you'll be given The key Choo -choo. to this heart of mine I'll be waiting there with my arms on fur, waiting just for you. Welcome to my world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the music cut off kind of quick. Yeah. I, dude, I love me some Elvis. I've covered some Elvis. I love it. Like, usually if I cover something, it's just because, like, I like it so much, I want to do it. Um, I think this song is terrible. I don't like this song at all. So, I think the song is bad. I'm sure it was a hit at its day, you know, it was Elvis in its day. Plus, our ears change over time. So, if you're listening, if you're a teenager in 19... Late 50s, early 60s, you listen differently probably than you do today if you're still alive. Knock on wood. Um, but yeah, this, this actual composition is very bland and uninteresting to me. I don't think there's anything interesting about the lyrics, um, the arrangement. I think it's all really, really bland. And in this case, the only redeeming quality of it is her singing. Singing is great. Even taken as a whole, right? It's like spokes of a wheel. Maybe, not, maybe spokes of a wheel is a bad example because there's so many spokes. But the idea is if you have spokes on a wheel and the spokes are different lengths, then your ride's going to be wobbly. You need all the spokes to be strong. So the sound quality of the arrangement is bad. The actual arrangement itself is bad. The arrangement is of a song that I find uninteresting. And the lyrics of the song are uninteresting. Not really a lot of development. Nothing catchy. Um, the only good part is her singing, which is not enough to redeem the song. Great performance, great, great vocals, great vibrato, good job in a low register, but 
here's the easy way to put it. Let's, let's see if we can all relate. There's a, out of everything I've heard of, out of Angelina so far, which I don't think I've heard that much, maybe 10, 15 songs, maybe, I'm guessing somewhere in that range, I haven't counted. There's a 0% chance this is the song I would pick out to show someone. Someone said, you know any great vocalists? No way I'm picking, picking this performance. Not because she did a bad job, because she's got so many, she's, she's got so many other better jobs, right? But here's what's, here's what's, I don't want to keep reusing the word interesting. If this was the only video I had seen, then yes, I would show it to someone like, oh, look how talented this young lady is. But we have other videos, so... Okay, I think we're gonna close with this. I'm gonna talk to myself for a second. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the, ver you know, the pronouns you or whatever. Man, be in better control of your thoughts. Don't let other people's thoughts be like a virus that becomes contagious. Like just because someone else feels a certain type of way, don't magnify their negativity by pulling it into yourself and focusing on those thoughts it's not the way to go it's a bad it's a bad decision i will try to uh block them dudes out i will always be receptive to criticism that's the only way we get better but sometimes man comments are cesspool sometimes I wonder if this will be like, see, there it goes again. I was like, I, I wonder if this will be like the least whatever metric Angelina video for me. I realized, man, that doesn't matter, bro. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this video gets, gets 10,000 views or it gets 100 views. That shit doesn't matter because there's more to life than making videos. There's more to life than chasing subscriber counts and upvotes and downvotes. And once you know the system, you can work the system to, to magnify those numbers. But then you shortchange yourself. You shouldn't be naive like that. Remember, I'm still talking to me. I'm talking to me. I'm not talking to you. Can't be. Got to be smarter. Gotta be smarter. Just because you get some updoots, meow, just because you get a little bit of fee positive feedback, you can't start chasing that. You start chasing it, then you start depending on it for how you feel. Then you become all fake and I can't do that. No interest in it. None. None. Like, bro, you wanna hate me for who I am? Hate me. Don't hate me because you can't turn me into someone else. Like, that's... Bruh, how, how arrogant are you? How arrogant are you that you think I should turn into who you want me to be? I also wonder if people who say that, I bet you don't talk to people in real life like that. I just don't think you have it in you. Maybe you do. And you're just disliked by lots of people. Hey, good job, though. You did rob me of some joy for a minute. You people out there. Not y'all. Not y'all. Not y'all. Not y'all. But them. But don't worry. We're going to block them out. Okay. I guess a somewhat self-indulgent reaction. You know what's really self-indulgent? Having an entire YouTube channel where you react to stuff. That's self-indulgent. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just feel like if you're going to be here and I'm here, like, we can actually talk to each other a little bit. Then a lot of people want the fake. Got good news. There's lots of fake out there. You will not run out. So for your real people, I love you. I appreciate it every second you spend here. And for you fake people that think I'm gonna miss you, I'm not, I'm not gonna miss you at all. I'm not, no. In fact, I kinda wish you never showed up in the first place. You're freaking me out. <laughs>